Hi everyone, it's Ashley the Thrifty Chica. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to show you how you can save some money on hair accessories. I really love these hair ribbons, but they can get kind of expensive. So I wanted to show you how you can make them for about 10 cents and maybe down to 5 cents per hair tie. So just stay tuned. Hey guys, I thought I'd walk you through the different items you'll need to create these hair ties and you'll need some elastic cording. You can usually find it in the craft section at different stores or in the sewing department as well. And if you can't find one that just says elastic cord, look for the 5 8 inch elastic cording that's usually in the sewing department. You'll also want some sort of ruler or um, any way to measure the length of the cording that you're cutting. Um, something to mark it if you want to make it a little easier on yourself. A pair of scissors and I also picked up some fray check you can find this in the sewing department and this keeps the ends of the ties um, from fraying so it keeps that nice finished look so for the first step we're going to take the elastic cording and we're going to go ahead and unravel that and um, measure it to the size that we're looking for so for making our own hair ties we're looking at eight to nine inches in um, length so depending on how thick your hair is you might want to make it a nine inch length if your hair is a little bit thicker. And we can I'll also leave the measurements that you'll need if you want to make headbands as well. Um, but this is really easy. You just go ahead and measure it to the length and then we will leave a little mark. If you want to make this project even quicker, after you've made your first mark, just continue to measure off and make a second mark and make it along the whole length of the elastic cording, then you can go ahead and cut it right afterwards. So for the next step, we're taking the fray check and make sure to cut the top portion off here so that it will be open. And you're just going to take your ribbons and run this right along the top of your ribbons and it will dry um, so that they won't fray at all. And this is great because you won't have to worry about them coming apart and they'll stay right in place. And just let them dry after you've gone ahead and added the fray check. So once the ends have dried from the fray check, you just fold this in half and you're going to match up the ends here and you're going to take it and form a knot just on the outside and we're going to tie it tightly. We're going to try to get it so that the knot is as close to the end as possible. And then when you get it there, you can go ahead and pull it tightly and you have a hair tie. And now they're ready to be used. So just complete this process and all the rest of them and I'll show you what the rest looks like. Thanks so much for stopping by guys. I really appreciate it and hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to make headbands as well, I'll leave information for how long to cut the ribbons so you can do that too. And they're really comfortable either way. And I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys later. Bye.